Okay, our pilot program was the Higher Diploma in Computer Science, fully online, and this year it's available only online. We set up our initial team for a curriculum, support and admin, and then we set about planning the program. We used an agile process, weekly sprints, managed with Trello, we set up cards with checklists and assigned them to team members, and we checked the progress uh, weekly. We use Tutor Stack for our platform. It's got five different layers and we started with these technologies, but we can swap in and out any others at any stage, which we've done throughout the semester. Tutors TS then is for the first layer. This is the home for the student and it enables them to get at all of the other technologies that they'll use on the course. So it's a program home for the student. My colleague Eamon de Lester will be giving a full detailed class on this here tomorrow. Um, but briefly, I have labs, talks and videos. It's card based and you drill in. And uh, we see an example of a lab here. It's written in Markdown. Um, the other thing we use are slides, of course. Our slides though have to be repurposed for online delivery, language sensitive approach, color coding, fonts, animation, numbers, signposting, highlighting, further visuals, analogies, introductions and versions all used. Second layer is community and screen sharing and we use Slack for this. It's the one-stop shop for all communications. Five key things to remember with Slack are workspaces, channels, direct messages, you type a text message and you can upload files and content. It's leading messaging and communication application for Teams, all your communications in one place, fully searchable, so no more emails. It also has peer support and threads, as you can see, and social and community interactions like water cooler, interviews and reactions to content. You can make voice calls, video calls and even share your screen with the paid version. The third layer is assessment and feedback. And for that, we use Moodle, uh, assignments, gradebook, choice for bookings and access to Adobe Connect were all done through Moodle. Our fourth layer on the stack is media uh, and we use YouTube for storing our videos unlisted. Fifth layer is the broadcast layer and for that we use Adobe Connect. Now we chose Adobe Connect because of all its features which everybody needs uh, however it's no longer up to the job we feel. Uh, it's only standard definition, it's got noisy sound, it's not web standard, and it doesn't play back double speed. Got through a lot of video applications uh, for our media and broadcasting. Um, so Screen Hero was used uh, with Slack when the snow came because our Connect server fell down. ScreenFlow was used with YouTube for asynchronous videos, but the big find was Open Broadcast Software, OBS. We use that with YouTube Live and that cuts down our workflow. It does HD video and audio straight to YouTube live and YouTube so that it's much quicker. Uh, green screening, chroma key, flipping, audio and video filters. It's got VST plugins for your audio and sound and mic and lots more. Uh, the future for us is to use OBS, green screening, and we're gonna get into using light boards. We've managed to cut it down from 10K to 10 euros so far. And I think I'm about out of time, so I'm going to say thanks very much and leave it there.